Hello everyone and welcome to the Excel challenge. In this video, I will be resolving a challenge from one of our subscribers, William Morton. William would like to know how to make a countdown calendar where past date cells change color and still be able to input information into those cells. So let's get started. Okay, for this example, we're going to plan a trip. Let's just start with the date when the trip starts. My trip starts on, I'm gonna start my trip on September 16th, which is a Saturday. And I want to know how many days are left for that date. So I'm going to put another cell over here that says today is, and over here is September the 3rd. So how many days are left to the start of my trip? Days left for my trip start. And very easy, 16 minus three equals 13. There are 13 days left to my trip start. Now, I don't want to do this manually. I want to have a formula here, and I'm going to say equals this cell minus this cell, 13 days left. Tomorrow is going to be September the 4th, so there are only 12 days left. The day after tomorrow is going to be September the 5th, only 11 days left, and so on. Now, I don't want to be typing this every day, so what I'm going to do is replace the value in this cell for the today formula. So in this cell, we're going to say equals today, close parenthesis, enter. Today is September the 3rd. My trip starts on September 16, therefore there are 13 days left. Tomorrow, when I open up this file, this cell is going to say September the 4th, and there will only be 12 days left. Control C here to undo. This takes care of the countdown. The next thing we're going to do is, we're going to list all of the activities in the plan. So over here I'm gonna say date and task or activity. I decided to go on vacation on September the 1st and I'm going to fill down all the way down to September 16th when my trip starts. In task or activity, I'm going to lay out the plan. So my first activity is decide my destination and then I'm going to book my flight then I'm going to book my hotel then I need to rent a car then I'm going to pack my stuff and my trip starts I'm going to put a border here. And the next thing I'm going to do is add some conditional formatting. For our conditional formatting, we're going to go with three simple rules. If the date is in the past, we're going to select a red fill, date in the past. If the date is today, we're going to go with a yellow fill, date is today. And if the date is in the future, we're going to go with a green color. Date in the future. For that, I'm going to select the date column and I'm going to add the three conditions. Conditional formatting, highlight cell rules that are less than our today value here. These cells have to be red, so I'm going to custom my format. I'm going to select a red fill and I'm gonna put a white font. Okay, okay. Conditional formatting again, highlight cell rules equal to this date, which is today. And we wanna make those a yellow fill. Okay, okay. Conditional formatting once again, highlight cell rules greater than this value here and for those we want a green fill okay with white font okay and now the last thing we're going to do is select the task activity column and for the conditional formatting we're going to be using a formula so we go to conditional formatting new rule and we're going to use a formula to determine which cells to format. The formula is going to be if A6 is less than this value here, then we want 
a red fill with a white font okay notice one thing here I do not want to lock my A6 cell I do want to leave however my C1 cell locked because that one is constant when I OK it I get my conditional formatting I'm going to repeat the same idea here conditional formatting new rule use the formula and I'm going to say if this value equals this value here I do not want to lock my A6 cell I want a yellow fill okay and okay conditional formatting once again new rule once again use a formula once again and this time we're going to say if this cell is greater than oops this value here I do not want to lock this one we want a green fill with a white font okay okay I'm now going to delete this temporary notes we no longer need them and we're done let's see what happens with the colors as the dates change by the way I am recording at midnight reason why today is now September 4th and you can see that my yellow bar has already moved down one row so I'm going to use this formula here so today is September the 4th what happens if I add one I want you to keep an eye on this cell which tells me that days left for the trip start and I want you to keep an eye on the yellow row which tells me today's date so what happens if I add two to today's date three four you get the idea and it's what you're going to see when you get to September 16 your trip starts and there are zero days left for the trip start the worksheet is working I'm going to delete here this and we are showing a countdown calendar with conditional formatting that you can still modify as you need and that's it for today I hope you find this concept helpful and this is something you can use in your daily routine so you get more with less effort. William, I believe I resolved your challenge and I thank you for sending it. Thank you all for watching and remember, if you have an Excel challenge that you need help with, whether it's at work, at home or at school, please write it in the comments below. I try to resolve common challenges from our viewers and subscribers. Thanks again for watching and I'll leave you here with some of our previous videos.